Well, this is obviously the uh, fin. We've been working on the rudder, but this is the fin portion, and it has the leading edge. Now, the leading edge uh, is, in the way that it's built, it's starting out with a one half by one inch uh, balsa, pretty big stick here, and we need to carve the shape of the leading edge. And um, uh, that's both, both uh, hard to do and, and surprisingly easy. Here's what we're going to do when we get going here. This is uh, this represents the uh, the uncarved uh, leading edge, and this will be the rib, which would be either F1, F2, F3, or F4. So the first thing we're going to do with the razor plane is try to pick up this angle here and just come uh, straight across. We're just going to well, I'll just make it solid, and we're going to pick up the line on the bottom. It's a symmetrical airfoil. So we're just going to come straight and then take this. So this will all come out. Uh, there is a mark on the leading edge that shows us where the center line is. And then once this is done and all this is planed away, we're just going to take a little bit of a plane here. We're not going to go too far because we're going to finish with sanding. So that's the general idea. The other thing you want to keep in mind when, when doing planing is um, basically you take off first what is most obvious. I hope that makes sense. Uh, in this particular case, right here, uh, we need to do some planing obviously, but down here where the, the width is more narrow and particularly up here at the, uh, at the top, there's an awful lot of wood hanging out. So we're just going to start here. And um, again, this video will not uh, be long enough, or we're not going to take that much time to, to do the whole thing, but I just want to give you the idea on how it's done. So we're just going to plane this down. show you here in a second what I've done. Now you can see that, or I hope you can see, I'll put a little bit of, there is the uh, basswood spar, and then here's where I plane. So there's, I've got about a sixteenth of an inch left right there. Now on the other side, see how much I've taken off? Now that's, that's the general idea in the sense that in, in sort of sculpting this thing, uh, take away the most obvious wood first. Don't say, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this, this nose perfectly sculpted? Uh, I think that'll throw off your thinking. Now what we're going to do is just sort of by sight pick up this angle, and I'm just going to go along here. That's all I'm going to do is nice and easy. Now since this tapers, it's getting, as we go toward the, the top of the fin, uh, it gets narrower. So we're going to do more planing up here than we will down here. Just again, just taking that angle. Okay, I've only got about three thirty seconds of an inch here. I'm gonna, um, of course, you don't want to slice your hands off. The hardest thing is just holding it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to hold this. Probably wouldn't hold it quite this way, but for the benefit of my camera crew, I'm uh, holding it in a little bit of an awkward. I'll do just a few more cuts here and I'll show you how it looks on the end. Again, uh, the great thing about a plane is it's not a power tool, it won't get away from you. And uh, now, I don't know if you can see how this, the angle here is pretty much the same angle here. And as we go along, 
I'm not down to where the rib is yet, and I will. I'll get down there. This is uh, probably, in terms of skill, this probably takes the most skill, but um, I don't think I'm unusually skilled in any way. What I've learned is, is to just be patient. Just take it slow and stop and look at it and say, well, I know that I can take this part down and it sort of almost shapes itself if you're willing to be patient. And I'm sighting along here about the general direction. And remember, here I'll draw this again. Just uh, Here's where we are. We are right about here now. I'll hold this up in a second. We started out with the uh, the leading edge, you know, just just square. And I brought this down. Here's the rib. Here's the leading edge. And now I brought this down at the angle, which is pretty much the same same angle as this. That's the whole idea. And then we're going to eventually do this. But just getting it down. Picking off this angle is what we want to do. You might think, well, why don't you have a template for the nose? And I think the answer really is that it isn't needed. And I think it would just drive you nuts. I've never tried it. And I've always had these things come out just, oh, here's what I need to show you. Uh, here's that center line. Here's the side that we haven't planed at all. And you can see it's come down quite a ways. On this side, it's obviously a half an inch because it was a half a full inch wide when we started. But now it's down to, oh, maybe uh, three sixteenths here and about a, about a quarter inch here. So you can even sort of see how it's tapering. And I didn't perform any magic or anything. All I did was right before your very eyes, I just used this plane and just little by little brought it down. That's all you do. Now, I'm, I, I'm not going to do the other side now just to keep this demonstration moving. Actually, it's not a demonstration. This is a real, real fin going on my, uh, my next airplane. Now, we want to break, we want to create a curve here. So, um, Needless to say, a rib has a rounded, a rounded top. Everybody knows that, I'm sure. I guess the main thing I would like to say is don't go too far with this. Just a little bit of an angle. Here's flat, and I'm just going to bring it just a little bit. To kind of make it a real blunt, blunt nose. In the sanding process, we'll make it shape just a little. I'm not going to take much more with the plane here. You don't want to overdo it. You can always take more off. It's hard to put, I just sight down, it's, it's hard to put more on once you've taken it off. Although if you've gone too far, just glue another piece of wood on and plane it back down. Um, that's about right. Um, that's about all you need to do with the plane. I, I don't know what we do. Spend about five minutes doing this. Well, I'll do the other side and then I'll come back and we'll do the final sanding with a 60 grit uh, sanding block. And you will, I, th I think, be very pleased and surprised how, how just it, the shape just almost forms before your very eyes and um, in a very satisfying and pleasing way. So we'll do that in just a moment.